This video shows you how to use AI as an instructional designer to create a rubric. I'm gonna go through step-by-step -step to show you the process and to show you how this is yet another way that AI can be used to save you time and energy. To begin with, we have to realize that yes, ChatGPT and other similar type of generative AIs, they are very powerful tools dealing with instructional design. They've been trained on many, many different books, many different internet resources dealing with instructional design, with pedagogy, with how to use it specifically for teaching and learning. So this is just one application for it. I'm gonna be making multiple videos that will address how to use it for many different aspects of instructional design. But right now we're covering specifically using it to make a rubric. And it's actually quite simple. So I'll open up my ChatGPT interface and I'm just using the simple free one. And this is what I have. So from here, I'm going to simply put in my prompt. Now it's very important to review this prompt. So what I said specifically was, please create a rubric for a university level professional communication course. The assignment that this rubric will be used for is an interview reflection report. It needs to have four levels of criteria, depth of reflection, use of experiential evidence, effectiveness, meaning word choice, language use, and grammar and mechanics. The level of scoring should be excellent, above average, average, below average, and unacceptable. It's really important to have a nice, good, well-formulated prompt in order to get the best type of result from your AI. Notice here within the prompt that I'm using a good prompt formula for this. I'm giving it a specific task. I'm telling it what exactly that I want. I'm giving it instructions that, hey, it needs to be for a university level course, right? The task of course is creating this rubric, but now the instructions have to be more specific. The context needs to be there. So I want not just a rubric, but it needs to be a university level rubric and it needs to be for a professional communications course. Now I give it context and I give it reasons in that I need it to be very specific to the course in that it needs to be for this specific assignment. It needs to be for this specific assignment, which is an interview reflection report. Then I give it more specifics in that I want four levels of criteria, depth of reflection, use of experiential evidence, effectiveness. I give it a little bit more specific there that I wanted to deal with word choice and language use. And then I also talk about grammar and mechanics. So now I'm, I'm giving it the information that I need for the X and Y axis, right? If I leave any of those out, it'll fill it in with something, but it might not be specific to what I want. So by being more specific here, it's going to save me that much more time and it's going to develop a, a more specific type of rubric of what I'm looking for. So from there, it goes through, it goes through the whole process and it generates a response again, only within a few seconds. Notice that it actually generates this and puts it in a matrix type format. So this is what I'm looking for as far as this is how I'm going to want my actual rubric to look like. So from here, all I need to do is go through, highlight it, copy it. And now that I've copied it, I'm gonna go into my Excel. I'm gonna paste it in there. And then I'm just going to touch it up a little bit by making it look pretty. And then now the very important thing that I need to do is I need to go through it. I need to make sure that I review each part of it, right? Because that's an important part of AI literacy is this critical analysis. I need to critically review. And as I go through it, wow, this is exactly what I want. Very minimal things that I need to touch up, very little things that I want to change because this is practically for the most part, exactly what I'm looking for. So this has saved me a bunch of time. And there you go, there it is, it's all put together. Now I just need to make sure that this is a proper assignment with a proper rubric, that I explain it properly to my students in the, in the instructions. I tell them specifically, can you use AI? Can you not use AI? Maybe I could even put it within the rubric. Those are all possibilities. So these are things that I need to think about as I'm integrating AI, AI literacy within my course overall. I also wanna make sure that this is in proper alignment with my student learning outcomes. I'm properly evaluating what those SLOs are. And so this assignment, this assessment goes along with that. So I'm properly measuring and properly seeing the evidence for that. The great thing about this is that this helps me 
overall in that I know that if I want to change my assignment, it's going to take time dealing with the rubric. So that might, even if it's at a subconscious level, that might tell me that, oh, maybe I don't want to change it because it's going to be a lot of work. But by making these aspects so much easier to do, I mean, it, it does it in just a few seconds, right? Now, hopefully this will motivate me that much more to always be going through and evaluating my assignments, evaluating how I'm doing my assessments so as to maximize their capabilities. Because if it, if it only takes a few seconds to do the rubric, well, now I'm that much more willing to change my assignments, to change my ass assessments, because it, it, it's so much easier now. Again, I can use AI for different parts. We'll be, I'll be doing a series of different videos where I'm using it for different pedagogy reasons for creating different assignments. But for this part right here, just for the rubric creation, it's so much easier, so much faster. So now I will be able to create more, to do more, to make more hands-on active learning, which is what the students really want. So again, I'm maximizing and developing my AI literacy by using it, gaining more experience. So then I can turn around and help my students develop AI literacy as well. And remember, learning is for life. Mm -hmm.